we got to talk about some of these recent troubles with Tesla. Uh, we mentioned over the last three months down 3%, year to date down double digits, facing price wars in China and in Europe. Um, how are you seeing this quarter? Yeah, I think you have to embrace this emotion in Tesla as an opportunity. But you're absolutely right, Frank. When the S&P 500 is at all-time highs, up 2.5% year-to-date, we have seen Tesla down about 15 16%. So this pullback, this opportunity, is in the wake of a couple different emotional components. We saw Hertz sell about 20,000 of their EVs, their Teslas. They're dumping those. We also saw that production halt in Germany. But I think it's more of the emotion. We recently saw Elon talk about wanting to own more shares. Remember, he owns 13% of Tesla. He has another 7% of Tesla in stock options. So he has about an $80, $90 billion exposure to Tesla, but he wants more because he wants more voting power. So this continued emotion puts shareholders in the hot seat. Okay. But I think there's an opportunity to buy it against $200. All right, so you're saying if it falls below $200, it's a buy for you, but if it stays above $200, you're not buying? I own it right now. I'm selling puts here, to be very clear. I want to okay. own more at the $200 level. But if you think technically, Frank, it's in a little bit of no man's land, to your point. So technically, the 50-day and the 200-day moving average is up at $230. But right now in the pre, it looks like it's up about 2%. I think you're going to see a 10% move, hopefully, to the upside. But I think okay. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some type of emotion, again, from Elon on the call. <laughs> All right, a lot of emotion there. Uh, I want to switch yes. gears to IBM. A lot of people see this as an under-the-radar AI play, so it's relatively cheap. It trades at 18 times, but let's talk about Red Hat. Shares are only up about 20% since the Red Hat acquisition. Um, Christina, who just did a preview for us, also pointed out that analysts see a lot of bullishness in their consulting business that had previously been under pressure. How do you see this quarter? I think it's a cloud company. I think it's a completely different company. And to Christina's point, they just purchased stream sets and web methods, about a $3 billion acquisition. They continue to put AI tools in their portfolio. So if you rewind, Frank, 10 years ago when it was trading above $200, it was a wildly different company. So the IBM name itself, Big Blue, is not the Big Blue of yesteryear. And I think we own it for a reason. It's an essential name. It's this number three in cloud. It's continued to grow and build out that business-to-business -business AI tool set. All right, last but certainly not least, Netflix this morning. Shares are surging on the back of that big blowout quarter when it came to subscriber growth, also the addition of WWE. What do you think about this company? You know, what is The Rock got cooking? To see The Rock <laughs> come in here, he was out on the road yesterday. I think there's another $60 up. And if you look technically, there's a back and fill opportunity for Tesla to go up to $600. That's about $50 away after a wild 10% move of the upside. So I think you can still own it here, but I think $600 will be a short-term resistance level for Netflix, which continues to grow.